Hi guys, I hope this is what I've been waiting for. We have a Jujutsu Kaisen collaboration notice. I hope this is a skill preview. Okay, let's see this. Oh, wait, that's a Sukuna. Oh, it's a developer's note. Jujutsu Kaisen collaboration. This is Sukuna, right? Yuji, Nobara, Megumi, Satoru Gojo, of course. Yes, greetings from Summoner's War developers team. Exciting news. Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen collaboration. We're really grateful for the enthusiastic response. Okay, okay. And who have left your interest and left messages out? Okay. To celebrate our 10th anniversary of service, we have planned a collab with the popular anime Jujutsu. I hope they do more collab with anime in the future. Of course. Before diving into the developer, please check out the video. The video will be... Oh, there's a behind the scene. That's interesting. Well, we'll watch that later probably. Not in the video. In various in this collaboration, the famous character of Jujutsu Kaisen and Pro in Summoner's War, along with various new content. Of course, they're gonna do some content. Call up content one by one. Okay. A special alliance between Summoners and Jujutsu Kaisen, Jujutsu Sorcerer is ready begun on July 30th. I think this is PD, PDT time. When an unexpected anomaly emerged on Sky Island. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so we got these four, I think, right? The four main characters. Uh, popular anime. Okay, okay. Uh, da da blah blah blah. Yada yada yada. We have select five. Wait, we actually have five. Yuji, Megumi, Nobara, Satoru Gojo, Yuji Itadori, of course. Megumi Fushiguro, Fushiguro, Nobara Kugisaki, Satoru Satoru Gojo, and Ryomen Sukuna. Wait, Sukuna is in the game. What? Okay, this is just the the background of the characters, right? If you watch the anime, you know this. Uh, will be added in their awakened form as usual, okay? with Only with the original name. Satoru Gozo will be able as a net 5 in all attributes. Whoa! Satoru Gozo is all net 5, so that's not, there's no net 4 for Satoru Gozo. Is that a free one? While Yuji... Megumi and Nobara will be added as a net 4 and net 5. So there's a net 4 and net 5 for these three. Of course, Satoru is like the best in the in the anime. Uh, Real Man will be a net 5 character with a dark attribute who will be available from... Oh, so this is the free one. Sukuna is the free net 5. Dark, dark net 5. Okay. Oh, let's see the skill. Oh, this is Sukuna. While well, the appearance are appealing, what is even more interesting how the original character skills have been applied. That's good. I want to see how they apply the skills because in the anime, all their skills are like very powerful, right? And the animation is so good. How are they going to implement the animation? Okay, we, we take a look at... Uh, I, I want to say... I, why did I say ramen? <laughs> it's real man. It's not ramen. It's real man Sukuna. Real man Sukuna uh, dismantle. Attacks the enemy, deal damage that ignore all damage reduction effects. The damage increases as your attack power is higher than the enemy defense. That is okay, very interesting. Cleave, okay, so this is uh, this is attack type of course. Attack the enemy two times. I mean this is free, so we don't expect this guy to be good. But this is Sukuna. How do they make Sukuna weak, right? <laughs> Attacks the enemy two times to decrease defense. Okay, with 50% chance, I think it will go up to hopefully 100%. Each hit damage decreases. Oh, wait, each damage decreases if your attack power is higher than the enemy defense. Oh. Each hit damage decreases if your attack power is higher than the enemy defense, but the number of hits increases up to six times. So you want to hit six times. You have you want to have high attack power. It is I we don't know how much the damage decreases. But I think this means that maybe it means that the first like the first one is like do the most damage, the second one reduce the damage, the third slightly lesser damage. I think that's what it means, right? Each hit damage yeah, each hit damage decreases. I think it slowly decreases and then you can go up to six times. You want to hit six times. You want to have high attack power. Um, artifact. Artifact additional damage. That is like, I don't think that the, uh, the additional damage won't decrease. So you need like good artifact 
additional damage artifact for this. And the, la the third skill is a passive. At the start of every turn, if your hit points did not increase, if your hit points did not increase compared to the previous turn, and has decreased by less than 30% of your hit points, it will revert to the hit points from the previous turn. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> so, he has a heal. He has like, uh, wait, so that means you have to kill this guy like in one turn or something. If you don't kill him in one turn, the next time he get a turn, he'll heal back to the previous turn. Oh my god. That's a bit annoying, right? That's what it means, right? But it has to be less than 30% of your hit points. That's But that's a lot of condition though. That means if he is low, the hit points is like below 30, he has a chance to heal his heal himself up. Kinda. Okay. That's that's kinda interesting. Okay. Satoru Gozo water defense. Why do you make Satoru Gozo defense? I ho hopefully the other elements is not defense, please. Infinite strikes. Attack enemy to stun with 30%. Hopefully this goes up. Sometimes the default doesn't go up, right? 30% default is still... That's a good... Like, um, Chandra. Which on revenge or like... Despair revenge. Or like when we protect someone, it could like stun every turn. Curse technique labs. Blue. Okay, so I think the curse technique lab will be like... For fire, it'll be red. For... For win would be yellow, whatever, right? AOE, nice. Two to three times random. <laughs> I hate this. Deal damage proportional to your defense. And still one beneficial effect with a 20% chance. I hope this goes up. 20% chance is very low. But I mean, at least it hit three times. It's based on defense though. Six eyes is the passive. Gains immune. Ooh! Regular element, this counters a lot of those uh, attack by reducing uh, units. Gains in immunity against attack by reducing effect that increase your attack bar by 30% when the turns end. Wait, every time the turn end, he gets, he gets 30% attack bar? Huh. Interesting. Don't know how much damage these skills do. Depends on the multiplier, but that's interesting. Yuji Itadori, the fire one attack. Okay, triple assault. Attack enemy three times. Okay, artificial, uh, artificial. Additional damage artifact, of course. Deal damage that, again, ignore all damage reduction. So, I mean, it has almost the same skill as this one because, well, Sukuna. If you know, watch the anime, of course, you know. Divergent Feast. Uh, attack the enemy two times. The first hit decreases defense. Okay, this is almost the same as this. Uh, the first hit decreases its defense for two turns, and the second hit destroys the max, destroy the enemy max hit point by hundred percent of the damage dealt. Ah, interesting. In addition, the chance of landing critically increased by fifty percent for each harmful effect granted. Okay, you can combo this with those units that put debuff. As long as the enemy has two debuff, it will be 100% crit rate. So you don't need to run UZ with crit rate. Kinda. Black Flash. Nice. Maximum power. AOE. AOE. Okay. Attack all enemy to destroy their max hit point by 50% of the damage dealt. Okay. This is single attack. Single hit. Single hit. AOE. Okay. In addition, absorb the attack bar proportional to destroy... Okay, this attack always lands. Oh, okay, so you you really don't don't need to run this guy with crit rate. As long as you of course you combo him with like those units that can put debuff. If you put two debuff already, this will be 100% crit rate. The third skill always lands as critical hit. Interesting. Megumi, the win one support. Totality. Attack the enemy to decrease its defense and attack power for one turn with 25% each. I hope this goes up. This is a single attack, single target. I mean, default, yeah. Uh, the Wells Unknown Abyss. Attack the enemy to remove one beneficial effect. Single target, single hit. Absorb attack bar with... 
Well, seems like this. Seems like I feel like this is a bit weak. That attacks the enemy to remove one beneficial effect by side and stops its attack timer by thirty percent. Ah, this is single target though. On only still one. The two skill, kind of meh. Oh, am I not seeing anything here? Shadow manipulation curse technique grants invincible or for one turn on all allies. Okay, increase their attack power for two turns and increase their attack power by twenty percent each. Hmm. Doesn't this sounds like Chloe? <laughs> But Chloe doesn't increase attack bar. Hmm. Nobara light the light Nobara is a five star. Okay, hit points. Straw doll technique attacks the enemy. Disturb has to be recovery for. It's okay, not that interesting. Happens four nails attacks the enemy target. Three random attack the enemy target. And three random enemies. Okay, so you target one units and then three more random enemies. I hate random stuff though. To provoke them for one turn with 80% chance. I hope this goes to up to 100%. When the target is already provoked, the provocation duration increased by one turn. Oh. Oh. This is kind of like the kind of like the fan cleef skills. But it's only uh for the provoke. So if you are if the target is already provoked, if you attack those uh if you provoke that enemies, the provocation duration will increase up to three. Nice. Okay. Curse spirit manipulation resonance attacks one of the enemy targets that attack you. Huh? Attacks one of the enemy targets that attack you during one turn. This is not a passive though. How? Attacks one of the enemy targets that attack you during the one turn to deal forty percent of the target. Forty percent of the target max HP as damage. But if it's a boss, it's only 10% of the boss max HP as damage, of course. So this is probably used more in uh, PvP, Siege and stuff, not in, not for farming, huh? Attacks one of the enemy targets that attack you during... What? what? Huh? Attacks one of the enemy targets that attack you during one turn. What do you mean during one turn? Is it during your turn? I don't understand. Uh, maybe it means that before you get a turn, uh, maybe like two, four, three. Wait, you can only you can only attack the enemy that attacks you though. This is kind of weird. I don't. I, I want to know how this works though. That attack you during one turn, during one turn, during one turn, forty percent. But forty percent of the target max hit point is that. That's a lot. 40% of target max hit points, especially, this is especially good against those bruiser, uh, bruiser tanky uh, monsters, right? Okay, the bev, the death team was particularly intrigued by Nobara straw doll technique. Huh? Oh, this one, he meant a resonance one. In the enemy says, is this technique involved putting a straw doll on a section of the enemy's body and hammering a nail through, okay? In turn-based RPG summoners war, this is reset a third skill that can be used without without cooldown. Oh, this is without cooldown against enemies that have attacked her. Oh, this means that um in the turn before he moves, before she moves, anyone that attack her, she can attack that units. And this is without cooldown. Oh wait, without cooldown, that is interesting. Not only was the skill del deliberately constructed, but the animation was so carefully. Oh, I want to see the anim animation now. It'll be fun to see how numerous skill animation and effects from the animation have been. Yes, I want to see this too because the 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 animation, the skill animation in the anime series, that like the animation in when they use the skill is like very over the top, right? It's very flashy. I wonder how the I wonder if they're gonna make it flashy in Summoner's War. One skill that has been thoroughly adapted from the original is Black Flash, Black Flash by Yuji Itadori. We refer to the description in the anime series that Black Flash activates when there is a difference of just da -da 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 -da, yeah. Make the skill effect of Black Flash be activated only when the enemy is attacked, rendered in black and red regardless of the character's attribute. That's interesting. Does that mean it doesn't like 
we don't see that as the skill effect most of the time or something i don't know the character skill animation and effects has been beautifully redone i hope this is true beautifully beautifully redone we have to see that the animation that would be nice if they have like a beautiful animation with maintaining the original anime stats okay we'll see that observing how various techniques and abilities in anime were adopted in Jujutsu Kaisen Club yep I want to see this too okay I want to see this too Jujutsu Kaisen okay this is the building that they always have when we have collab uh, so we're gonna have some event I hope during the collab period you can complete a variety of quests okay Sorcerer Quest Bosch Rust Okay, we have two kinds of uh, collab event stuff. Collab content. Mini game. Okay, different bosses of Summoner's War will appear continuously. You have to clear them one by one. It's a virtual training place created by Magic Council specifically. Okay, okay, yada, yada, yada. Battle details. You can enter a battle with five monsters. Okay, a battle consists of 10 waves. This is boss rust. Uh... So what do you get? A small amount of reward will be given based on the wave progression because the boss rush tank is so many small wave structure. So you can only clear it once then. Uh, the record of maximum number of wave skill will be displayed in the boss rush ranking. Okay. Week one, if you wait, also have a look at least. Uh, oh, you need to at least defeat ten bosses. Okay. After eleven, you won't get anything, right? You you just need to clear until wave ten, and then you will get the reward weekly reward you just need to clear once you got a jujutsu kaisen scroll of course mystical scrolls mana stone okay that's pretty good uh event dungeon content that many summons so i enjoy playing has been developed okay collab exclusive oh this is like like the previous witcher and assassin creed kind of dungeon where you move from once 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 one i don't know what you told will call that thing okay like dungeon type rock like dungeon type I mean, it's fun. Uh, similar to the previous call up, the event dungeon is added to the world map. You can enter the dungeon by tapping the icon on the world map. Okay. Yeah, it's like this one. I like this. Call up characters can be used. Nice. Event dungeons, normal heart. Yep, as usual. Normal. Yeah, this is as usual when, when you can choose like uh, one of the upgrades. Monster defeated during battle can be used again. Yeah, this is the same. Event boss dungeon. Ooh, you're fighting Hanami, Dagon, and Jogo as a special great curse spirit will appear as bosses. Okay, okay, okay. This is Dagon. Okay, I didn't see Dagon in... I haven't watched too far in the anime. Dagon in hard difficulty. I want to fight. Wait, Hanami is the easiest one? <laughs> Jogo is the hardest, I think, probably, right? Uh, Event dungeon, curse crystal... What the heck is a cursed crystals? Is it not crystals? Is cursed crystal is a currency maybe of the collab currency? The event dungeon reset every week. If you clear boss of hell deputy, you obtain a special reward for that week. Crystal demon blah blah blah. Eh, no, no jujutsu scrolls. Okay. Other collab exclusive content. Collab characters will appear. Okay, this is usual. Uh, you're gonna get uh, the Jujutsu Kaisen scroll, of course. 50 floor normal, of course. Uh, I think this is only once in April. I don't think you get it in September, right? The I think you only get it once. Master X, yeah, the usual. Collab special emoji, okay. Sorcerer request content will be added to Jujutsu Kaisen scroll, okay. Collab period is from July 30th to October. As usual, it's about two months, right? It's about two months. Update will go live. 842 original monster that replaced the collab characters will not be able until the collab period is over. So it will be sometimes. It doesn't say when. Uh, it could be end of October. It could be November, right? This, this doesn't say. It's only say that it will not be able until the collab period is over. Sometimes it's like a week. Uh, not a week. A month after the this is over. It could be in November or something. The collab character can be acquired to various types of summons during the collab period. This character can be used permanently even after the collab period. Yes, of course. However, collab characters cannot be summoned after the collab. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is the usual one. Jujutsu Kaisen scroll. Okay, this is all... Yeah. If, you, if you save the 10-year ancient trans scroll, man, I wish I've saved this. 
Do you think they're gonna sell trans scroll? I wish I've saved the 10 year ancient trans scroll. Or any trans scroll for that matter. Any ancient trans scroll, of course. All scrolls that I can summon that for from. Okay, okay. Collab characters can be summoned from legendary engraved. Okay, this one, of course, because this is. Uh, I engrave summon. You can't summon that. Okay, this looks nice. Jujutsu guys and scroll. As usual, duck. Yeah, this one is uh, because it's a free one. Boss Rust Event Dungeon Period. Okay, this is just a thingy. Collapse. We'll be holding various collapse special events. Okay, more events will come. That's good. Okay, that's it. Okay, so what do you guys think? I feel like this skill with no cooldown is kind of nice. Forty percent. Oh, I just it's forty percent of the target max hit points. That's a lot, and it is is without cooldown. Wow! Just build this guy tanky, right? Not guy, lady. <laughs> just build Nobara tanky. I feel like this is wow. You can use this every turn, though. Wait, without cooldown? Did he say without cooldown? Yo, if you're 1v1 with Nobara, you're dead. I think. Right? If you like, you can't one-shot this lady, you're dead. Because 40% of your max hit points. It needs only like 3 attacks to kill you. Oh, but that means if you violent proc, you can't use this to attack your target. Because during one turn, that guy doesn't attack you. Ah, so she's not good with in violent, on violent runes because you can't use this on violent runes. I mean, you can use the other skill, but you can't use this skill. That's interesting. This is free. Sukuna is free. Everyone's going to get su Sukuna. This looks a bit... Eh. I thought Gojo would have like a better skills, but this is kind of interesting. Gains immunity against attack bar reduction effects. Uh, so far, those against those that gains immunity against attack bar reduction effects only like a LD units, I believe, right? Or oh, am I wrong? This is definitely for damage. This one is a bit. Eh. I don't know. From the looks of it, this one is kind of mm, not that interesting. This is okay. This is okay. Uh, of course, this is kind of nice, but it's a free one, so everybody gonna have this. Probably not gonna be too OP. Uh, Nobara is definitely interesting with the third skill. If this is really without any skill cooldown, this is kind of interesting, but it's a light units. So it's gonna be hard to get Nobara for sure. Okay, guys, let me know which one do you want. I mean, everybody will be starting to, will be going for Gojo, of course, right? Just because he's Satoru Gojo. Okay, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Bye.